Hi everyone, welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, let's look at how to fix textures not loading in Hogwarts Legacy PC game. In the first method, we need to update the configuration file called engine.eni. Now to access that file, press Windows and R button and type in this command percentage app data percentage. Click on OK. Go back to app data folder. Open local folder. Then the Hogwarts Legacy folder. Double click on save. Open the config folder. Then the Windows Novator folder. Here you should be able to find engine.ini file. Now before you make any changes to this file, you can create a backup of this file. Just copy and paste it in desktop. In case you want to revert back to the older file, you can just copy back the file and place it in this folder and overwrite it. Now double click to open this file and scroll down all the way to the bottom. Here we need to add couple of lines. These lines you'll find it in the article which is again in the description of this video. Select and paste it. So once, once the lines are pasted, next we need to check if we need to update this value 2048. Now this depends on your GPU memory. So first we need to check our GPU memory and see what value needs to be pasted on the file. Now to check that on the search area of the taskbar type view advanced display info and click on this display adapter properties for display one. So here the total available graphics memory is shown as approximately 8 GB. So the value that I need to enter is 3072. So now I'll save the file. Once the file is saved, you can also close it. And now launch the game again to see if the textures have improved and they are loading as expected. In the next method, we need to update the graphics settings of Hogwarts Legacy game. As you can see here, I've already opened up the game. Now to go to settings, right click and select graphics options. As you can see here by default, in my case, all the settings are at medium. Now to play the game in ultra settings, in general, it means to play the game at the highest possible graphic settings, which means increase graphics quality and you should be able to play the game at higher frame rates but it also consumes a lot of hardware resources and you might want to check your PC configuration before you make that change. However, for this fix, we are just going to update the texture quality from medium to ultra. Now, once that is done, select apply settings, accept, and then now go back to the game and play to see if the textures are now loading as expected. Now ray tracing can be disabled either in the game itself or it can be done in the configuration file. To access the configuration file, press the windows in R button, type in percentage app data percentage, select OK. And we need to navigate through the same path that was done in the first method. Open Hogwarts legacy, save folder, config, windows no editor folder. But here we need to open a different configuration file that is the game user settings.ini file. Open this file and then you need to find these three lines enable ray tracing shadows, ray tracing reflections and ray tracing AO. Here if you notice they are already set to false. However, in your case if they are set to true you need to change this to false and then save the file, close it and launch the game again to see if the texture quality is improving or the textures are loading as expected. The next step is to increase the virtual memory to see if that helps the quality of textures in the game. Now to access VRAM, click on the search area of taskbar and type view advanced system settings. Click on the first search result under advanced tab and under performance click on settings. Next click on the advanced tab and under virtual memory select change. Now you need to disable this checkbox automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Next select the drive where the game has been installed in my case it's C drive and next check this box custom size. Now we need to calculate initial size and maximum size 
in MB and enter those values here. Now, as you can see here in this article, I've entered the formula. You can just use this formula to calculate. Now, each system, it would be different. So in my case, the RAM size, to find the RAM size, I would type settings in the search area of the taskbar and that would open this window and make sure system is selected. Scroll down to the bottom and select about. And here in my case, the RAM is 16 GB. All right, so now I'll just use a calculator to calculate the values in RAM. In calculator and uh, so that would be for the initial size 16 into 1024 into 1 1.5. 24576 and for the maximum size that would be 16 into 1024 into 3 49152 so once you've entered the values select ok apply the changes you might have to restart your pc once that is done launch the game again to see if the textures not loading issue is fixed for the last method, you can verify the integrity of the game files. In my case, I've installed the game via Steam. So I'll open up Steam and click on library. And on the left side, you should be able to see Hogwarts Legacy or else you can use the search option to find the game. Right click on Hogwarts Legacy, select properties. Now next click on local files and then click on verify integrity of game files. Now this this process will basically check for any latest game files and replace them on your PC. Alternatively, if there are any inconsistencies or errors in the game files, those issues again will be fixed. So you can try this as the last option and then once the verification is complete, close this window and then run the game again to see if the error is fixed. Hope the content shared in this video was useful for you and you are able to play the game without any issue. Now if any of the methods did actually work for you, please let me know in the comment section below. And also don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, thank you and bye bye.